Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Hey, we're gonna be doing a Corona render tutorial today. Uh, we've been diving into Corona quite a bit over at the Pixel Lab. We've been really enjoying it. And we just released our Corona Texture Pack 1 Contemporary Edition. If you're interested, you can check that out. It's a very delicious pack. But let's jump into our quick tip today. I'm gonna to show you a really interesting technique where you can control all of your lights and your HDRIs and the reflection and refraction and everything while it's actually rendering or even after it's done rendering. So it's a really, really interesting technique and it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is go to Corona and go into your multi-pass right here. And here's our multi-passes. Here's the available ones here. And we're gonna be talking about the light mix right here. So let's twirl this down. Let's enable our multi-pass and let's double click on light mix and we'll double click on light select to add those two. For light mix, we'll just leave it alone, but under light select, you can include any of your lights or your HDRI skies into this slot right here, and then you can control them after it's done being rendered. So we'll drag our light in here, and we wanna control all of these elements separately. So we're gonna add another one, and we're gonna drag our second light in there. We'll add a third one, drag our third light in there, and we're going to also drag our skies in here so we can mess with our HDRIs in render or after it's done being rendered. So we have three different HDRI skies. We'll drag all those in there and that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up. Now, if you want to apply denoising, that's a great idea as well. After it's done rendering, it will denoise all of these lights and it will clean them up quite a bit. So I like to make sure that's checked on. All right, so once that's all set up, let's go to our Corona uh, VFB and we'll start a render here. We'll just hit render. So if you haven't set up the multi-pass, you will have these tabs here with post. And this is really cool because you can go into tone mapping and you can play around with all this different stuff. You can play around with the exposure, vignetting, you can even change the white balance. So there's a lot of settings that you can change uh, while it's rendering or after it's done rendering and then save out. But if we set up that multi-pass, we can actually go to our light mix tab here. And we have all of our lights and HDRIs here, and we can actually toggle these on and off individually, which is pretty incredible. So you can see the power of this already. We can have these all on or off, but we can also play around with the amount that it contributes. So one is full, but we can go to say 0.5, and that'll be half, and boy, 0.25. And we can even change the uh, the color of these lights. So let's look through here and maybe this little glint right here, we wanted to change that. We can double click that and make that say purple. And you can see that now we have a purple light casting that little reflection right in there. So you can already see the power of this, how quick and easy it is to dial in all of these lights and their contributions and their colors. So once you have everything dialed in, you can just go to save and you can click save all or just click the save button. And I recommend you save this as a EXR, maybe a PNG, and it's gonna save out this render that you have already kind of tweaked and dialed in that you like. So that's the light mix feature in Corona Render. I hope you all found that useful and learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.